Good morning, MCC. Good morning, everyone. Let us prepare to hear the good news of this morning's scriptures. The first reading is from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 21 through 31. Don't you know? Haven't you heard? Wasn't it announced to you from the beginning? Haven't you understood? Since the earth was founded, God inhabits the earth's horizon. Its inhabitants are like locusts. God stretches out the skies like a curtain and spreads it out like a tent for dwelling. God makes dignitaries useless and the earth judges into nothing. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely is their shoot rooted in the earth when God breathes on them and they dry up. The windstorm carries them off like straw. So to whom will you compare me? And who is my equal? Says the Holy Spirit. Look up at the sky and consider who created these. The one who brings out their attendants one by one, summoning each of them by name. Because of God's great strength and mighty power, not one is missing. Why do you say, Jacob, and declare Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, my God ignores my predicament? Don't you know? Haven't you heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. God doesn't grow tired or weary. God's understanding is beyond human reach giving power to the tired and reviving the exhausted. Youth will become tired and weary. The young will certainly stumble. But those who wait in the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise up on wings like eagles. They will run and not be tired. They will walk and not be weary. And now, during the organ interlude, let us reflect on the good news of this scripture. And remember that those who wait in the Lord will renew their strength. As it is the season of thanksgiving, let us also be grateful. And remember that God's bounty is our blessing and his grace is our reward.
Our second scripture this morning is from Mark, chapter 1, verses 29 through 39. After leaving the synagogue, Jesus, James, and John went home with Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed, sick with a fever, and they told, her, told Jesus about her at once. He went to her, took her by the hand, and raised her up. The fever left her, and she served them. That evening at sunset, people brought to Jesus those who were sick or demon-possessed. The whole town gathered near the door. Jesus healed many who were sick with all kinds of diseases, and he threw out many demons. But he didn't let the demons speak because they recognized him. Early in the morning, well before sunrise, Jesus rose and went to a deserted place where he could be alone in prayer. Simon and those with him tracked him down. When they found him, they told him, Everyone's looking for you. Jesus replied, let's head in the other direction to the nearby villages so that I can preach there too. That's why I've come. He traveled throughout Galilee preaching in their synagogues and throwing out the demons. Here ends the reading of the scripture this morning. 